This is Rebecca Grauman reading one of my new favorite books that shows there is no limit to your imagination. The Boy in the Blue Moon by Sarah O'Leary, illustrated by Ashley Crowley. On the night of the blue moon, a boy and his cat went for a walk. Inside their house, the light was warm and yellow, but outside it was blue and magical. On the night of the blue moon, anything can happen, said the boy. The cat and his boy walked through the bluebells toward the forest. A hundred thousand tiny bells were ringing out a song that no one had ever heard before. The trees of the forest were blue as well, and somewhere high in the branches something was singing. It might have been birds, or it might have been dragons. The path through the forest was as familiar to the boy as any room in his house, but tonight it was different. A lake appeared where there'd never been a lake before. It was deep and blue, a very deep, deep blue. The waves made a little lapping sound as the shore that was somehow part of the same song the boy had been hearing since he'd left his house. The cat ran ahead, and the boy followed. There was a boat at the edge of the lake, so they jumped right in. In the middle of the lake was a second moon, shimmering and shining. The boy steered the boat toward it. Never had the moon seemed so within his reach. Wish, wish, said the waves, lapping the side of the boat. As the boy rode closer and closer, he wished that he could go to the moon. This was a a wish he had made many times before. He would thought about living on the moon while lying in his bed and reading his books. He would gazed out at the window and imagined what life would be like. But tonight he wished extra hard, and the cat wished too. The little boat was suddenly bathed in a wash of light. The whirled them around and around, and the boy took his cat in his arms. Down and down they went, but somehow the whole time they were traveling down, they were also traveling up. When everything stopped, they were on the moon, which was exactly as the boy had always known it to be. Perfect. They ran and jumped and tumbled and flew. The boy collected moon rocks and skipped them through the air, counting as they flew one, two, three, and on and on. We could stay here forever, said the boy. We can make a new life on the moon. But as he was thinking how perfect it would be, he looked out into the darkness and thought of home. He shivered. And he tried not to think of how lonely it was to be out here in the deep darkness of space. The boy looked and looked through, and he could see the yellow porch light twinkling, but perhaps it was just a star. He took his cat in his arms, and together they dove into the dark, down and down until they could see the earth ahead of them. The earth is blue, said the boy, a blue planet. Soon they saw the lights of home, and as quick as a wish, they were safe and warm in their own bed. When the boy awoke the next morning, he remembered everything. On the night of the blue moon, anything can happen, he said to the cat. And sometimes it does. Example discussion questions could be, if you were the boy, what would you have done on the night of the blue moon? And also, what would have happened if the boy lacked his imagination? This read aloud was made possible by the Evangel University Class of Education 329, Spring 2018. Thank you.